Hey friends, Pastor Bill Walden here with Build Up the Church. Hope you're doing very well. God bless you. This is a devotional word for April 19th, 2024. And this is out of the Gospel of Luke chapter 18. And here we see two men coming to the temple in Jerusalem to pray. One of them trusts in himself and he brags about himself to God. In fact, when he talks to God, he doesn't talk to God. He just talks about himself. The other man is totally broken spiritually. Won't even lift his eyes to heaven, won't even look up to heaven, and just begs for mercy. And Jesus makes this great contrast between these two men. Here's the story, Luke chapter 18, verse 9. Also he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. There are some people in the world today that trust in themselves. They believe that God ought to accept them because they're such great people. Comparatively speaking, they might be better than some, but the Bible says honestly about the human condition, we've all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Some sin more blatantly, some sin secretly, some sin outwardly, others sin inwardly. But we've all failed. We haven't been the people we should be. In fact, we've done things that we shouldn't have done. This man couldn't see it. He could only see his own goodness or what he supposed was goodness. So Jesus spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and they despised others. This is a common trait that we see in people that believe they are better than others because they have such a high view of themselves, they have a low view of other people. They're spiritually blind. Jesus told the story, two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisees were the outwardly religious conservatives of the nation of Israel. There was only 6,000 of them in the nation. Their name means the separated ones. So they separated themselves from everyone. They didn't look up to anyone else. They looked down on everyone and they thought that they were superior. The other one that appears in Jesus's story is a tax collector, a Jew who had betrayed his country, who was working for Rome, collecting taxes from his own countrymen and extorting them, and Rome allowed him to keep whatever extra he could skim off the top. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus within himself. So it seems like he's speaking to God, but he's really speaking to himself and about himself. He says, God, I thank you that I'm not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. What a prayer. I thank you that I'm better than all of these people. I thank you that I'm not like other men. I'm much better than they are. This man goes on to say, I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And he was bragging upon himself and Jesus described him well. He was trusting in himself. He thought that everything he did should qualify him to be accepted into heaven. Verse 13, and the tax collector standing afar off would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. The word beating his breast or that phrase there means he was continually, constantly beating his chest as if he was punishing himself for his own wrongdoing. This man was a broken man. He was a broken man before God. He didn't speak about his qualifications. He spoke about his lack of qualification. He spoke about his wrongdoing. He spoke about his great need for God's mercy. This then was the great difference between the two of them. One of them trusted in himself. The other knew not to trust in himself, but only trusted in God. Jesus went on to say in verse 14, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, the one who was broken, the one who realized his spiritual poverty, the one who did not depend on himself, but could only depend on the mercy of God, only depend on the grace of God and the forgiveness of God. This man went down to his house justified rather than the other. And then Jesus summarized and said, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. Oftentimes in this life, but maybe not until the next, but there are no exceptions. If you justify yourself, if you think you are good enough to earn your way into God's presence, though the Bible says otherwise, 
one day you will have that very sad experience of being humbled before God and you'll know that you were wrong and you won't be in his presence. But Jesus went on to say, he who humbles himself will be exalted. The one who's honest about himself, about his own spiritual lacking. Jesus said in this, on the Sermon on the Mount, blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are those who understand that they haven't lived as they should. They haven't treated others as they should have. They haven't responded to God as they should have. They've lived selfishly, and when confronted about it, more than likely defended themselves and trusted in themselves. Jesus said that person, that man, that woman will be humbled. But the other one who said, Lord, I've got nothing to, to show you. I've got nothing that I've done, nothing that I've said, nothing that I've intended to do that could cause me to be in right standing before you. That's the man, that's the woman that throws himself upon the mercy of God. And Jesus says, that's the one who's justified. So let's be like the second person, shall we? Some things to think about. Thanks.